Hi guys and welcome to another Watch Geek video and another unboxing and first impressions. This time this is a second model from Axios. I already reviewed their ironclad model which was a mix of a diver slash pilot watch with that beautiful brushed or sunburst brushed and the sandwich dial. And I'll leave a link right in the corner of the screen if you want to check that video out. This time they went for a field watch, a 1940s inspired field watch. So let's open it and see how it looks. Their campaign I believe is live on Kickstarter, so you can join it and I'll leave a link in the description. You're during the campaign, this thing is gonna cost about 200 and I believe $49. Once the campaign is over, it's gonna rise up to 339. So if you like the watch, you should definitely use the Kickstarter campaign. So, oh, this is the outer box. Let's open it, remove this, and there we go. So the watch comes in this sleeve, or should I say in this fold out sleeve, and inside is a pouch. And this is like a leather pouch, it's green in color. <clears throat> with a suede a suede buckle or not buckle but this strap inside what else do we have we have some spring bars and that's pretty much it so let's remove this get to the packaging and actually the coloring matches my table and this background which is always fun okay so let's unwrap the carrier bag over here what do we have here Oh, we have two watches. There we go, okay. So these are samples sent to me for review and then I'll be sending them to the next one. And this is it. So it comes on this stainless steel bracelet. It's solid links, solid end links and a milled out clasp with a safety latch and twin trigger release. As you would expect from a micro brand in 2021. For 200 and how much did I say? 249. This is pretty cool. Okay, so here we have the black version. And as you can see, it has a pretty simple dial. It's got a sandpaper texture. The markers are actually applied, and on some versions they're polished, on some they're like a like a grainy texture, just like the dial. And we have the white one. Now usually I would say I'm up for the black one, but when I see this white one, it actually looks more impressive. Pretty cool. As you can see, the case is very simple as you would expect from a field watch, but it does have some flair. So you have an old brushed finished on sides and tops, but you do have this polished bevel separating the two and everything looks crisp and clear. So we'll see how it looks under macro once I do the full review. Because like I said, this is just the unboxing and first impressions. I like the bracelet. It seems like it's gonna be comfortable on the wrist. We'll see after I spend some time with the watch. The watch itself is powered by Seiko NH35 movement as you would expect at this price point. Comes with a screwing crown, 200 meters of water resistance. Naturally, naturally the movement does hack and hand wind. And that's pretty much it. The crystal is sapphire, a flat sapphire with anti-reflective coating on the inside only, which is the way I like it because I don't like when brands put an outer AR that gets easily scratched because then what's the point of having an almost scratch-proof sapphire if the watch is gonna look scratched anyway. So I really do like this decision. The watch itself, they tell me it's 39, then in the next email they tell me it's 40, then back to 39. So I'll have the measurement ready for the review when once I use my calipers, but it's between 39 and 40, 47 millimeter lug to lug, and 12.3 or 12.5 in thickness. So pretty perfect dimensions for a modern, uh, modern field watch. I do like it, I like the simplicity, I like the fact it's very easy to read, but I have to admit, I'm liking the white one actually more. And look at the logo in the back. Is this a Pegasus? Pretty cool. This is called the Pathfinder. A pretty good name for a field watch. So now all we have to do is put it on my wrist to see how it wears. And I'll also do a loom shot 
and then we'll conclude the video. And I just noticed that the bracelet looks pretty similar to the one on my Vostok Amphibia, but this this one here feels much more massive because it's all solid links while this is all hollow and folded as you can see. So this is pretty jingly, this is not, this is pretty sturdy. Okay, let's charge both of the watches. Let me just wipe this and then turn off the light to see how it looks in the dark. Oh, just forgot to put it on my wrist. I just realized that. It's not sized for my wrist, at least I don't think it is. It actually almost is. Okay, so here it is on my 6.7 inch wrist. So 39 or 40 by 47 and it looks pretty much perfect on my 6.7 inch wrist, as you can see. It's not too thick, but it does have a certain chunkiness to it. I do like it and I do like the flat sapphire. It really is very legible. Okay, let's do the loom shot now since I forgot the wrist shot. Charge it again. Put it here and turn off the lights. There we go. This is the black one and this is the white one. And the loom is a C3X1 or something like that. And as you can see, it's pretty decent and it's pretty much the same on the white and on this black one. Now they will have additional colors including like these two. So black, white, they're gonna have a salmon one, a copper one and the slate, a gray one. So pretty cool. A range of colors for everyone's taste but so far I have to admit I'm liking this one the most and I believe I'll be switching the bracelet to this one and actually test ride this one because I do like it much more. The finishing does look pretty good but we'll see that under macro. Anyways that's it so if you want to check them out like I said I'll leave the link in the description. The retail price is going to be $339, but if you join the Kickstarter campaign and do the pre-orders, you can get it for $249 and $279. And for $249, this is pretty much a no-brainer if you like this type of a watch. Let me just zoom in a bit more. On the white, the grainy texture actually looks much better than on the black one. I like the hands, they reach their designated markers. The minute hand is just shy of reaching that minute track but the second hand is pretty long, which is something I always like. And I like the fact they kept the dial very simple. So you just have the logo of the brand, the model name and the water resistance reading. Pretty cool. The crown is signed and look at that case. Pretty cool. I do like brushed finish because I believe it resists scratches the best, but I also like when brands add a bit of polished just to make the case pop and this one really does pop pretty cool anyways that's it when it comes to this video i hope you enjoyed and found it useful if you did please like and subscribe and like i said stay tuned for the full review i'll see you in the next one